Hello, my name is Nicola and I'm a student here at Kent and I cannot be the only student who gets stressed out sometimes. But here at Kent, there are numerous places where we can de-stress. So follow me on this journey so I can show you the rest. Let's get it. <laughs> So firstly, I want to show you the Darwin Rose Garden. It's such a beautiful site. It's one of our outdoor relaxation areas. And honestly, you can just come here, just take a walk or take a seat on one of the benches, read a book and just observe the natural um, environment that we have around here. The Darwin Rose Garden can be found right in the heart of Darwin accommodation. So if you live here, you have such a pretty site. But yeah, that is Darwin Rose Garden and it can be found right there on the campus wellbeing map. So the second outdoor relaxation space that I'd like to show you is called The Labyrinth and you can find that on our university field. As you can see, we have such a big green space right behind Templeman, which is our library. And there's so many things you can do in this field. You can go and take a walk just to clear your mind. And um, a lot of people walk their dogs or their cats or whatever they want to walk. Or in the summertime, people just come and just lie down to relax. So as you can see, I'm approaching what we call the labyrinth and the labyrinth is actually the only labyrinth that you can find at any english university so it's something special that we have to show and it's also something that you'll able to just enjoy its beauty so you can find the labyrinth on the bottom right of the well-being map so the next thing i have to show you is our duck pond and this is such a beautiful sight you get to see the ducks just swimming so peacefully and honestly if you're ever having a bad day or if you're just feeling low sometimes you can literally just take a scroll it's right in front of Keynes and you just enjoy it and right in situated in Keynes area also we have our student well-being center which you can find right there on the well-being map so let me take you along to our fourth outdoor relaxation space and this is called the Elliot Cloister Garden and this is the garden that's situated in the heart of Elliot. If you live there this is somewhere that you could go to just chill and that can be found right there on the Elliot map. So you may have noticed now that most of our accommodation areas actually have these outdoor spaces or these communal areas outdoors where you can just relax. So here is another one that we have behind Becker Court. First of all, Becker Court has a beautiful green space. But apart from that, we also have this seating area that's made of wood and crafted by our own students. As you can see, it's just a little seating area that you can come with your friends just to relax. And that can be found right here on the Wellbeing map. One thing I can vouch for the University of Kent is that they take mental health and well-being extremely serious, which is one of the reasons why we have a medical center here on campus. So if you have any physical needs or emotional needs, you can book an appointment where you will get the help you require and that can be located right there on the well-being map. As well as physical or emotional needs, the University of Kent does recognize that some of their students do also have spiritual needs, which is why pupils who are of the Muslim faith have access to the mosque that is here on campus, which can be found right there on the well-being map. As well as this, if you are Christian or Catholic, there's also a chapel inside campus also that you also have access to as a University of Kent student. And in case you are a part of another religion, you can join one of our faith-based societies on our website. But for the chapel, you can find that right there on the well-being map. The next indoor relaxation spaces we have is our Kent Sports Center, which is our gym here on campus to keep up with all of your physical needs. If you did not know, all first years get free membership to join the gym, as well as all students who live on campus. So you can find that right there on the Wellbeing map. This stunning view is what I meant from earlier when I said that Becker Court has such a beautiful outdoor space. This is what we call Bluebell Woods. This is for all my people who love taking walks outside. I myself am included. Canterbury is one of the places where you can just take a stroll and you will love the site because there's such a serenity in all the trees and on the way the leaves fall down it's such a beautiful site this is situated right behind becker court and if you turn to the left here with me you can see that we even have a lovely green lake so put a comment down below of leaves if you've made it this far 
So this is the second location that you can use to take a walk and it is called the Soray Pen Walk. I promise you this is a hidden gem. I have never seen this place before and I've never been here before but I was so surprised at the end. Stay tuned guys. This place is right behind Wolf College and if you turn to the right with me you will see this beautiful lake. I did not know that this was here at Ken. The stillness in this area, there's no busyness, there's no people. If you ever need somewhere to hide, think or escape, that is the place to go. Finally, this is our last location, not only for you to be able to take a walk here on campus, but also just a relaxation spot here at the University of Kent. And I don't know if you can see that view, but it is stunning. This is what I like to do personally, um, to cope with well-being and my mental health. I love taking walks in the morning and seeing the sunrise it's been my coping mechanism during second year if you're in second year or in first year or third year try this out so i tried this out in this location i'm um, taking the hill and it is a view like when people say this is views this is what we call views like if you look if especially when you come in the morning when you look up you can see yellow orange red in the sky it's so pretty but yes you can take this um road all the way down to downs road and for people who actually live off campus um this is actually the road that they would take to one of the areas that a lot of students live at so it's called um hills place so just literally down this road and the turning on the left which you will see in a second is where a lot of students live so yeah this is Stephens Hills Walk and we'll actually see it. Yes. <laughs> no worries no worries people in Canterbury are so nice I promise you you actually cannot make that up but that is where students off campus actually live and yeah thank you for following me to the final location there it is right there on the well-being map and I hope you also take an adventure and find the relaxation spot for yourself bye guys